Hello everybody, so uh, today somebody asked me a question about um, if they could use a uh, Dell Precision T5500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T7500 case. And I found out today that it is possible to put a Dell Precision T3500 motherboard or a Dell Precision T5500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T7500 case. And the reason for this is because the Dell Precision T7500 case is larger than the Dell Precision T3500 case and also the Dell Precision T 5500 case so it is a much it is a little bit larger and um, it has more SATA ports than either the Dell Precision T3500 or the Dell Precision T5500 because the Dell Precision T3500 or T5500 has five SATA ports while the Dell Precision T7500 has, let me check, it has seven SATA ports, so that's the difference. In addition to that, um, the motherboard for the Dell Precision T7500 is a little bit larger, so it has a uh, more... Um, motherboard mounting holes than either the T3500 or the T5500. So basically the Dell Precision T3500 and T5500 has 12 um, motherboard mounting holes while the Dell Precision T7500 has 14 mounting holes. So you obviously you can't mount a Dell Precision T7500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T3500 or a Dell Precision T5500 case. That's not possible. However, um, when you look at the chart below, uh, you see the motherboard and you see the cases. So um, in a Dell Precision T3500 case, uh, as I highlighted in the green, you could put it into a Dell Precision. Um, you could put a Dell Precision T3500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T3500 case, and also you could put a Dell Precision T5500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T3500 case. Um, however, uh, the power supplies for the T3500, T5500, and T7500 are different. So um, the T3500 has, uh, I think, a 550 watt power supply, and the T5500 has, I think, a 750 watt power supply. Let me check. Power supply. I'm sorry, a Dell Precision T5500 has an 875 watt power supply unit. And a Dell Precision T7500 has a 1100 watt power supply unit. So, um, the reason why the T5500 and T3500, T5500 and T7500 have the have larger power supplies is that they could support uh, two CPUs in them. That's why. So you just need to get a riser board to mount a uh, a additional CPU on either the T5500 or the T7500. But that's the only difference and and the next part of the of that uh, T5500 
table, you see a Dell Precision T5500 case. So you could put a Dell Precision T3500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T5500 case, which is highlighted in the green. And you could also put a Dell Precision T5500 uh, motherboard in a Dell Precision T5500 case. However, you cannot put a Dell Precision T7500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T5500 case or a Dell Precision T3500 case, which is um, which I colored in red, so you can't put it in there. So if you had a Dell Precision T7500 case, then as you can see, it's all highlight. It's all filled in with the green, which means you could put it into a, you could put in a Dell Precision T3500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T7500 case. You could also put a Dell Precision T5500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T7500 case. And of course, you can put a Dell Precision T7500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T7500 case. So, uh, so if you have a T7500, uh, you have the best of all all worlds. You can, if you can't find a Dell Precision T7500 motherboard, you can you can find um, a Dell Precision T3500 motherboard or a Dell Precision T5500 motherboard and put put it into your Dell Precision T7500 case and if you have uh, let's say you had seven SATA devices connected to your Dell Precision T7500 case then you cannot use all seven SATA ports you would have to buy a um, PCIe uh, SATA expansion port if you want to uh, if you want to add the additional SATA devices, but uh, you can't connect the bootable SATA ports like like your main hard drive, which boots into your operating system. You cannot hook that up to um, the SATA adapter, the SATA PCIe adapter. You can't do that. It would have to be hooked onto the board that's the only difference and as for the PCIe PCI Express X16 ports um, on the T5500 and the T7500 they have the same well not exactly the same the T7500 has one more uh, PCI Express X16 Port than the Dell Precision T5500. Other than that, it's pretty much similar. All the cables uh, will work, like the power cable, um, the front uh, panel connector cable. That will that will work on your uh, that will work on every uh, motherboard. So if I wanted to put a Dell Precision T3500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T7500 case. Um, all the connectors in there would work. That would that would also be the same for the Dell Precision T5500 motherboard as well. And um, it's all backwards compatible, and they have the same number of uh, memory slots. I think it's a 240 pin uh, DDR3 it's either ECC or non-ECC um, memory slots so the T3500 I don't think that supports uh, ECC RAMs but uh, T5500 and the T7500 they both support um, basically um, ECC RAMs so if you want so so make sure you have the right RAM when you um, when you swap the motherboard because the RAM that you had on your T7500 
isn't going to work on a Dell Precision T3500. However, if you had a, if you want to swap um, the motherboard to a T5500 and put it into a Dell Precision T7500, then all the memory modules that you have in there would work on the T5500 because uh, they both use the same RAM modules and even if you and also if you had a riser you know the CPU riser for the T7500 that would also just work on your T5500 motherboard so it's all backwards compatible so you, you're not really gonna have a problem there so the best thing is for you to get would be a if you can't find a T7500 motherboard you should just get a Dell Precision T5500 motherboard and put it into your Dell Precision T7500 case and that would work and all and also also the CPUs and everything um, they're also um, they would be compatible on a T5500 motherboard as well and also they would be compatible on a T uh, 3500 motherboard however on the T um, Dell Precision T3500 you can only use one CPU because it doesn't have it doesn't support a, a CPU riser card so that's the only difference so other than that they would all work and when you mount a um, T uh, 5500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T 7500 case um, I think the way you mount it is like this um, you start from the bottom and then you work your way to the top basically so it wouldn't be from the top to the bottom it'd be from where you see the bottom part of the motherboard in this diagram that's how you would mount it because as you can see there are three screws for all the motherboards as you can see so on the bottom they all have three um, holes on the on above that there's uh, there's one more and then if you go above that there's one more hole they all have the same holes and in addition to that if you go above that there's uh, two more holes that are parallel across the board which is near the memory slots and if you go above that you have one more hole which is near the, the piece the blue PCI PCI Express X16 slot and then if you go above that there are three um, mounting holes for the motherboard and that's where it ends and then if you go above that there's two extra on the T7500 uh, as you can see and that isn't on the T3500 or the T5500 because like I said the Dell Precision T7500 is a little bit larger so other than that it would all work out so just keep that in mind you're not going to be able to put a Dell Precision T7500 motherboard in a Dell Precision T3500 case or a Dell Precision T5500 case but um, the opposite is true if you had a Dell Precision T7500 case. You could put every uh, motherboard in there for, for, for that line of computer. Okay, um, thanks for watching by Ace1000KS1975 signing out.